In this example, we have a unit feedback loop as shown here, a value of k for the gain and a plant whose transfer function is 1 over s plus 1 squared. The question is very simple. If we want to tune this system to have a phase margin of 60 degrees, what is the value of k? Obviously, we need to start this by looking at the phase margin, and to find the phase margin, we need to look at the loop transfer function, find its crossover frequency, and with the crossover frequency, we can evaluate the phase margin. And then we set the phase margin to 60 degrees. Clearly, the phase margin will be a function of k. So let's start by finding the crossover frequency. The line transfer function is k divided by s plus 1 squared. And this can be written as a function of j omega, as k over j omega plus 1 squared. To find the crossover frequency, we need to set the magnitude of this transfer function to 1. What is the magnitude of this transfer function? This is the magnitude of k divided by square root of omega squared plus 1, all squared. Right, real part is squared plus imaginary part is squared is square root, and this is square comes from here. And this is equal to 1. The square cancels the square root, and you can now multiply 1 by the denominator. This gives k equals to omega squared plus 1. So omega is square root of k minus 1. So the crossover frequency is a function of k. This is not surprising. If you take a Bode plot and multiply that by a constant value, if we increase the value, the Bode plot goes up. If you decrease that value, it goes down. So the point where the Bode plot crosses 0 decibels, or magnitude of 1, is indeed a function of that constant gain k. This is our crossover frequency. Let's call that omega c. With the crossover frequency, we can now proceed and calculate the phase margin. The phase margin requires the phase of the transfer function is defined as 180 degrees minus the magnitude of the phase at the crossover frequency. What is the phase of this transfer function? The phase is the phase of k, which is 0, minus the phase of all poles. We have two poles here. They are both at negative 1. And each pole contributes with imaginary part divided by real part, inverse tangent of that. So because they have two poles, we have the square sign there, we have two poles. Each pole offers a phase of inverse tangent of its imaginary part divided by its real part, 1. The phase at the crossover frequency is therefore negative 2 inverse tangent of omega c. Here is the square root of k minus 1 divided by 1. Very well, so let's recap what we did. We took the loop transfer function, calculated the crossover frequency. The crossover frequency is a function of k. We evaluate the transfer function's phase at the crossover frequency. And here it is. It's also a function of k. Now, to calculate the phase margin, we need to take 180 degrees minus the magnitude, this is very important, the magnitude of the phase. So the phase margin, we want to be 60 degrees. So this is 60 equals to 180 degrees minus the magnitude of this. The magnitude of negative 2 is positive 2. Right, so this negative sign goes away because of the magnitude, but we still have this negative sign here. So negative 2 inverse tangent of square root of k minus 1. This is a very simple trigonometric equation to solve. We simply have one variable k. We can rearrange this expression and solve for k. k in this case will be equal to 4. And when k equals to 4, the phase margin is 60 degrees.